All right, can you tell that Hoda is beaming, pumped, beaming right yes. now? Because we get to chat with the stars of one of her favorite shows. It's a brand new show right out, out right now. You guys are going to love it. Okay, if you haven't seen it yet, it's called Unstable. It is starring Rob Lowe and his son, John Owen Lowe. They play a father and son who aren't too close <laughs> until John Owen's character, Jackson, is brought in to help save his dad and the company from a total disaster. Take a look. You'd love it here. No, don't start with that. I'm not coming to work for you. I play the flute. That did not sound strong. That's because it's the flute. At least come to karaoke. Ruby's going to be there. She's young, she's smart, she hasn't seen you play the flute. I'm not hooking up with Ruby. And stop trying to turn me into someone else. I don't want you to be someone else. I want you to be exactly a version of you. A version of me? Exactly sort of you. So not me? You, but with some tweaks. Would you like to hear what they are? No. Wait, okay, John Owen. Hoda, <laughs> yeah. just the other day, yeah. said this is her new favorite show on television. She stopped the conversation. We were not talking about television. No, we were talking about something we were talking else. About I said pause. Something else. The, I'll tell you why. The yes. reason is, is because everywhere you turn, something is bad on fire, not good. So you need something light and yes. happy and airy that'll make you giggle. That little clip <laughs> made us giggle. The whole show is that way. So how, how come you and your dad decided that this was the lane you wanted to try together? Well, first of all, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm like so incredibly humbled by the fact that you guys She has a this. bumper sticker on, of your face <laughs> on her car. I don't even know what to say to that. I'm so excited right now. Um, I think that, you know, when we first realized people were getting a kick out of uh, the way I like to give my dad a hard time, yeah, which like is not a bit. I've been doing it my whole life. It's, you know, an important task. It keeps him humble. Uh, we thought maybe there was a show there, and then uh, that combined with this internal dialogue I was having about wanting to get away from my dad and out of his shadow, but constantly working in close proximity to him and the duality of that and the relatability, too, of, of, of kids and, and their parents and the struggle of that dynamic. That's kind of how the show was born. I mean, some of the things y'all were saying mm -hmm. as as a mother and also a daughter were, mm -hmm. I, I want you to be you, but with a few <laughs> tweaks, <laughs> yeah. is yeah. pretty relatable. Yeah. Isn't it? Wait, this was all kind of born, and you just mentioned this, mm -hmm. but because you would rib him publicly on, mm -hmm. on Insta. Yes. We have a couple of those jabs. Because why not? Because why we not? might as well show <laughs> yeah. where the gym is. Yeah. Oh, so he posted that. And you wrote the subtle art of taking a selfie in front of your Emmy <laughs> nominations. <laughs> I, I'd like to point out that they're all nominations. He didn't win any of them. <laughs> it's important. Um, shall we see another? Is there another? Oh, good. You're oh, really just doing... Oh, like this. Yeah. Okay. He writes, hanging out in Cape Town, and you write, write this <laughs> may be your finest piece of acting. Yes. <laughs> Although I wouldn't know. I have not seen much of his work. But... You've never seen The West Wing. This is true. Wait, this is why? True. I, I, look, I have to, like, save face a little bit and say that I think Aaron Sorkin is incredible. <laughs> what about your dad? The rest of that cast is incredible. <laughs> My dad, I'm sure, does a serviceable job. Um, <laughs> but it's hard for me to watch things that he's in. It just sucks me out of the reality of it a little bit. So, so what was your dad like when you were growing up? Was he um, what, I mean, pressure on you? Did he let you do what you wanted? Was he, he, uh, Look, I, I don't love giving him credit, but I will. He was a fantastic father, and he was very supportive, and he, uh, he did sort of push us, my brother and I, away from entertainment yeah. and, and stressed sort of how difficult this industry can be unless you really love it. And I did try many other things. I worked in a stem cell biology research lab wow. for wow. summers, which helped inspire I was gonna say, the science show. on this show. Yeah. Um, and I was always writing. I loved writing, and the creative side of me was always there. And finally, I, I, I knew I, I couldn't avoid it, and, I, and I'm happy. What about the shadow piece of it? Because I thought that was interesting. You, you want to be out of a shadow, yet you want to be in close proximity, totally. which is a dance that's hard. It's very strange. I would say that the, the meta-ness of the show... Yeah broke my brain a little yeah. bit on set because we would be, you know, it's it's based on my situation. I want to get out of my dad's shadow and 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 that's true in real life. And then I co-created a show with him <laughs> and got to work with him even closer. So yeah. we'd call cut and I'd call my, my manager and agent and say, I think I'm going to have a mental breakdown. It's so interesting because I feel like that's based on love. I mean, I yeah. can relate a little. Mm -hmm. um, I, but like my favorite stories are the ones where I got to speak to my grandfather. Mm -hmm. oh. And yet I didn't necessarily want to, you know, follow in line with mm -hmm. what they were doing. Mm -hmm. Yes. But don't you think that's because there was such unconditional yeah. love in your house? The yeah. truth is, yes. 
the the roasting and and the and the jabs is is our, our love language in a weird way. <laughs> and I will say that no matter what comes of the show, the fact that people like it is is a cherry. But like the I got to do this with my dad and it exists forever is very sweet and we tell each other all the time like we'll have this forever we can look back on this wow yeah. well you're executive producer co-creator you're writing you're doing all the things we wish uh you wish we wish you the best yes. it's such a fun show we hope people check it out it's really great <sighs> it's called unstable it's you, called unstable you can watch it on netflix <laughs> you can watch it now you right don't even now. have to wait and Why guess what you, you could wait? binge it which is what hoda's I done with a twinkie or two <laughs> yeah <laughs> 